Hello everybody, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds, and I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, welcome if you're new here. I know a few people subscribed since I last put out a video and they're probably like, why the heck did I subscribe to this person? <laughs> she doesn't put out videos. I do usually, but there's been a lot going on the past few months, and yeah, it's been hard for me to get going again. I had surgery at the end of February, I had a six week recovery time. And yeah, it's just been like harder to get back into the swing of things. But I had a really fun haul today and I was hoping to share it with all of you and I hope that would get me back in the mood. <laughs> so um, yeah, I went to Savers today and I had a 30% off coupon. And that is pretty much the only time I go to Savers because their prices are bananas. But they, my Savers always has such good stuff so I can't like not go there and it's like eight minutes from my house so. <laughs> and they just put a Starbucks in the plaza so I mean Starbucks thrifting so good so I only got the things the coupon was for which was women's pants and skirts and that included jeans like casual pants workout pants and then all different kinds of skirts. It did not include capri pants, so I didn't look at those. And it didn't include shorts, so it wasn't bottoms, it was just pants and skirts. So, there were a few things mixed in that I found that were like, not, I think one was men's and one was kids, because those were not included in the sale, but they were marked as women, so I still got 30% off. It was the most frustrating checkout of my life, I swear, because I went up to the self-checkout at Savers. If you don't have a Savers, they just put self-checkouts in like less than two years ago. And um, you know, I, I checked out all my stuff and then I went to scan my coupon and my coupon would not scan. And I'm like, well, I'm not buying any of this if the coupon doesn't work. So then somebody came over and put the coupon in and I, so I went to go say, no, I don't want to use my rewards because I had a coupon and it wouldn't let me. So then I had to call someone over again and then they had to fix that. And then I realized when I got outside that it still took 100 points of my rewards and I didn't even I didn't even go back in. I was just like, forget it. So yeah, savers. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you the things that I got for myself first. If they don't fit me, I'm gonna resell them, but I did get them for myself. I ended up getting 30 items, which is a lot you know, and four of them I potentially will keep, so 26 for resale. I got these Rewash, American Rig Original Rewash, they're like a wide leg linen cotton pant, they are, yeah, linen rayon, this is the, the brand tag if you can see it. I got these for me, but they're marked an extra large, but they seem kind of small. But I think they're like nice beachy pants that even if they don't fit me, I can resell them. All right. Next, I got a pair of American Eagle. They're just like a like a casual like drawstring pant. Um, let's see. It says they're 14. 14 regular. Lyocell. They're made out of. And they are from 2018, so um, these were only marked $3.49, which is the other thing about savers. So like some of the stuff, like some of the American Eagle pants are marked $17, and some are marked $3.49. <laughs> so you really have to look through everything. And I will show you something that was shocking that I found that was cheaper than American Eagle. That is literally like a luxury brand. So anyway, this was the third pair of pants I got for myself, these pink boyfriend pants. I already have two pairs of these, but um, if, if you have these, you know how comfortable they are. They're just like lounging around the house pants. They have pockets, they're wide leg sweatpants. I love them. These were marked $6. And then I saw these and I love pink and I love tie dye, but I don't know if these will fit either by BSR by Sammy Rain. Sammy Ryan. This is their medium, but they look really big. They're like really oversized. And this is the, it's got like a little embroidered thing. I thought they were super cute, but if they don't fit in the waist, I'll just, I'll just sell them. They're cute. And these were marked $6. All 
All right, now onto my actual haul. I'm gonna share jeans first, I think. So for some reason, they don't mark up airy. They mark up American Eagle. These are a pair of like airy jogger pants. I think these holes are supposed to be here. They look like it, but they might not. <laughs> Either way, I don't use um, stock photos for American Eagle anyway. This is their airy size large. Um, when it comes, I buy a lot of American Eagle because I sell a lot of American Eagle. It sells well for me. I know not everybody likes to sell it. Um, I thought these had. I try not to get anything that's too outdated. These were from 2020. So, and they're a large. These actually might fit me as well. Hmm, these are a maybe. Um, but I don't really like light wash, so I don't know. Uh, it's another pair of jeans. What are these? Oh, so, um, who is it that talks about these jeans? Uh, oh, Kaylee Elaine, who has like a awesome, awesome YouTube channel. You should really check her out. She is a boss, let me tell you. Um, she buys these Democracy jeans. She says that the ab technology ones sell really well. These are size 16 petite, but I, she says the bigger sizes and the ab technology sell. So these were marked reasonably at $6.79. So um, with 30% off, I figured I'd take a risk. Even if they sell for $20, $25, that's fine. So I know sometimes I buy things and you guys are like, I would never pick that up. But this is one of those things. So this is on style, but like, so these are Old Navy and they are the OG Loose Secret Smooth Pocket. And they have a date code, which is from 2022. So these are super recent, but I just thought these were really like in style. Like they're a, like a high waist, loose like wide legish fit they're like a, a light wash they're perfect condition i figured why not like i feel like somebody's looking for these these probably are somebody's favorite type of jean i don't know i like them and you know all right more american eagle there are some there's a lot of american eagle in here i think uh these are the mom jean which is a good one to pick up they have like a like a tight tapered leg with a widish tapered leg uh, they are from 2021 these are size 4 long which I also find the long ones are a good pickup because people are tall have trouble finding jeans so these are 4 long and then I picked up, are these another pair of mom jeans? Yeah, these are also mom jeans, and these are also four long. So, picked up two pairs of these. Um, let me see. Yeah, one of them was $6.79, and one of them was $8.99, which, that's Seavers for you. <laughs> They're the exact same pair of jeans, but they will never price match. If you bring something up with no price on it, they will not price it for you. <sighs> They're a pain in the butt. But I figured those were, were good good pickups because those will sell especially in a long size okay I was really excited about these jeans and um, I did pay more for them than I wanted to but these are um, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this name so they're Ger Gerbao, Gerbao jeans if you can see they're like an 80s jean they need some cleaning up for sure but this brand does very well in the vintage world. I know you can't really see this. It says they're a size 910. Um, I just remember watching the show Young Rock and he shoplifted a pair of these jeans. And so that was like, I called my husband on the way home and I was like, I found a, a pair of those brand that The Rock shoplifted. <laughs> he knew exactly what I was talking about. So I was excited about these. See, the, these were marked 1449. But when I did my overall average, I think my average was $4.60 an item. So I got enough stuff at a low price that it really evened it out. Like these, for example. These are a nice lightweight gauze pant. They're in like a coral salmon color. They have a jogger bottom. These are from Aerie. They are an XXL. 
and I don't know if we have a date code on these. I don't know if we do, but these are perfect for summer and in a great size. And they mark them $3.99. So I feel like these are a really good pickup. Next, uh, I think I picked these up because, oh wait, well I usually pick up this brand, but uh, this is COS. I can't really see that, but they are also like a elastic waist jogger. They kind of have like a stripe, like a very faint pinstripe. And COS, it, it sells pretty well. This is a cotton elastane. Yeah, these are just like a nice casual pant. These aren't extra small, but they have these marked at $349. I was like, I am hitting the jackpot today, <laughs> like finding things that are cheap and I have a coupon. So this is a brand that does very well and I hardly ever find it. And these pants look brand new. Uh, this is Title IX. These are a pair of brown pants. Title IX is a golf brand. I have like these ties at the bottom. Like these look unworn. They're in a size 10. Yeah, and these were marked for seven dollars. So I don't know. I don't remember how much I sold Title IX for last time because it's been a long time. But maybe around like thirty-five. I'm not sure. This is a pair of men's pants that were marked as women's, so I got them because they were very cheap. Uh, Bonobos, Bonobos. So yeah, I've never bought this brand, but I've heard of it. These are the straight leg. They're in size 32, 32. They are like a chocolate brown color. Oh, my camera is not great. But yeah, these look, these are in great shape. They have like a QR code inside that I think brings you to like the, the type that they are or whatever. These are called the Tuesday. I don't know. I've never bought these pants, but I, I've heard they're good. Okay. Uh, these these are not in the best shape, but <laughs> I love them. These are a vintage LA gear pair of sweatpants. It says LA gear. That's like in puff paint. The tag on this is epic, but like I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's got like gold thread. Um, it says LA gear, Los Angeles, and yeah. But the thing is. The elastic is shot, but it does have a drawstring. So I figured, why not? Someone will love these. They were not marked up. They were like six bucks. And they're tie-dye. So, very cool, very cool. I absolutely love these pants. These are vintage. But yeah, these, these are like very menswear inspired. I can hold these up for <laughs> They have suspenders. They're like a super high waist. These look like 40s men's trousers. And they come with like actual like suspenders on them. They're by Natural Resources. They're size 9, made in the USA. How cool are these though? Like, oh, I love it. I could not say no to these pants. All right, and okay, so I paid up a little bit for these. Before you think I'm crazy, these are an old pair a Lululemon. They are reversible. I'm, I think they're the groove pant, but the thing is, the groove pants are like coming back into style. Like, maybe not the groove pant, but like the like wide leg and uh, boot cut are coming back into style and people are looking for them and these are in really good shape like there's like no pilling in the crotch which is usually what happens like there's no pilling on the this they had these marked at $12.99 but like I said everything came out to $4.60 these are size 8 if these are my size I would keep them I love these these are really cute but I figure somebody will want these I will we'll see what happens. Yeah, all right, and the, oh wait, okay, so I have a series of 80s pants here. 
that are so cool that I I like almost left the store right after finding them because I was like I'm so excited so it did not I kept going <laughs> these are Gitano which I've sold many a time these ones like look at this front detail so the elastic on these is shot but they can be worn regularly they're marked as a 10 short and they probably do actually fit like a 10 because the elastic is shot they're like a tapered leg there's no back pocket but the little there's little snap buttons and that's the crot like that's the like the I don't know whatever you call it the there's no zipper <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say yeah I can speak but so here's a red pair then right, these are all mishmashed but I don't know this brand but so there's uh, this pair of pants that has this like buckle and it like crisscrosses in the front. These are like a like a light reddish color. I know that they don't really look like it. Also like a tapered leg. These are by Knock Knock N O K N O K. The size 11 12. So it says but like so these are very interesting. Then, then, next to them was another pair, exactly the same, in green. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these. These are 910. These are, they're so cool, like, I'm like trying to see, okay. Like, it kind of looks like a kilt at the top. And then the back has these really cool loops pockets and these are like a bright Kelly green please take my word for it blame my camera all right next next yes there are more I found these are um so this is a brand that I've sold before it's called Stefano Ugh, I'm trying to button them up so they look like they're supposed to I don't know I feel like somebody must have just dropped off all their 80s pants and like, I don't know, I was lucky. So look at the front of these. It's all these buttons and like, yeah, these are probably hard to get into if you have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> honestly. But like, okay, look, look at the leg. It buttons down at the bottom and there's like a flap that goes all the way up. So it's like, like wrap pants, I don't know. But the back is very similar to the other pair. But, oh my god, I don't know. Like, they're complicated, but awesome. So these are Stefano. These are just like a khaki color. And then, one more pair. So these are like an emerald green. These are the exact same ones as the ones I just showed you. The Stefano ones. Where they're like a wrap at the bottom. I can't wait to see how these look photographed. Because <laughs> they look kind of silly. But yeah, Stefano Worldwide. These are such cool pants. And they have them all marked at $6.99, which is very reasonable for me. I'm okay with that. So I have one, two, three, four, five of those like very 80s, early 90s pants. And I can't wait to do some research on them because they're so cool. Okay, <clears throat> now the skirts. So this is a wool skirt, which maybe I'll hold off on listing this until it's colder. So this is a wrap skirt. A, yeah, it's a full wrap. Oh, it's got buttons right here. But this is Prana. Prana. It's a size large. And I have this marked at $349. See, look at that. I don't know. They did not charge up for Prana. So, cool. So I saw this. This like I went into the skirt aisle and this was on the end. Look at the... Oh my gosh. Like, this is embroidered on here has no tags it's like a wrap I don't know what this is I'm gonna have to do a lot of research but it's got like a I don't know it's a it's a maxi skirt and it's large like it's it's got a wide waist and then I don't know I really don't know anything about it it's got that sort of like ribbon texture but I thought the like is so cool right 
I really don't know anything about it, but next I have a lovely little 90s skirt, very cottage core, little midi skirt, it's stretchy elastic at the back, it's by Maggie Lawrence collection, size large, thought that was adorable. A lot of the skirts, like, I don't know, there were some skirts that were marked way up, and then a lot of skirts were just marked for $5, so, I don't know. This also has no tags, but bought it because, um, this is velvet. It's a velvet maxi skirt. Looks to be about maybe a large, extra large. It's just this, like, very goth, very, like, vampire, I don't know, like, a, it's very goth. Very, like, 90s goth just all black on the back and it's black with a red stripe in the front but the velvet it's very soft it zips up the back I don't know I think it's vintage I will do some research see if there's like anything else I can find that looks like this but I'm gonna guess it's 90s vintage so this was technically a children's skirt but they had it in the adults and honestly the waist stretches a lot and this could probably fit up to like a medium it's marked as a girl's 14, by like Christy Brooks. But yeah, this is adorable though, very, very cottage core, has pockets, it's just like a cotton polyester, very cute for summer. I love these kind of skirts, these like pretty floral skirts. Um, this I found and thought this would be cool for the Eras Tour, Taylor Swift very sequiny. It does have a stretchy back here. It is Anne Crimmins for Umi Collections, 100% silk. So it is vintage. I think it's 80s. Look at all these. Oh, it's beautiful. I think it probably went with a, a top, but wear this with like a, a band tee or something. That's a really cute outfit. I love this. I'm going to get this listed very quickly and I'm going to tag Taylor Swift Harris tour. This, so this is just like a basic corduroy mini skirt, but it's very uh, 90s. This quiz New York. I've sold a skirt exactly like this on Depop. Uh, yeah, I think it'll, it'll sell well there, possibly Poshmark, but it is marked as a 1314, so that's good. It'll probably fit like a medium-ish. And then, the thing I came across and I was like, grab. Um, you know, in the midst of like Shein and Walmart, we have Escada Couture. Escada Couture, it says. This like beautiful skirt. It's so tiny, but it is, oh, it's so pretty. So it says it's a size 36, which I don't know what that equates to. It's got an extra button attached. It looks like unworn. I don't know. But I don't know much about um, designer or anything, but this is definitely, it's, it's definitely real. It's made in, where is it? Made in Germany. Acetate, polyester rayon. Yeah, it's, and the lining even says like, has like EE -E on it. I don't know. I, I, I've never seen Escada Couture. This is really, really pretty. And they had this marked for $8.29. <laughs> I really don't understand savers pricing at all. At all. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, it's a little cluttered over here. I haven't filmed video in a while, and like, you know, since my office is still a freaking mess, this is what I have to deal with. So, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe. I will. I will be putting out more videos. I promise. It's it's just been hard recently. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 